Hey, what's up guys? I go by the name Soji Gray and welcome to another episode of Quick View. You know, in 2018, 2019, there has been this trend of adding a lot of cameras to smartphones. We have the Huawei Mate uh, 20 having three cameras at the back, one at the front. We've had the 10s and the 10s Max having two cameras at the back and so forth. So, yeah, I mean, it's a trend that's becoming something that's, you know, acceptable in the tech community. So Samsung just stood up and said, hey, why not put four cameras at the back of the smartphone? And that's how the Samsung Galaxy A9 came into existence. Now this device is a very good looking device. It has glass at the back, glass at the front, and there are so many things I do love about this phone. And it's really promising to know what's going to come in the future when it comes to Samsung devices. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. So the Samsung Galaxy A9 features a full HD display. It comes with 2220 pixels by 1080 pixels. So it's a 1080p plus display. This display is very vibrant. I, I mean, I love Super AMOLED displays. The blacks are very truly black and the colors are very poppy. So I do love the display of the Samsung Galaxy A9 2018. Moving to other specifications, this variant comes in 128 gigs of internal storage it has 6 gigs of RAM and it has an SD card slot that supports up to 512 gig of SD card storage. I mean, this, this device is a very premium device. And let me talk about the ports. Now, this has a Type C port. Most smartphone manufacturers make great devices but end up putting the traditional USB port as the charging port. But I do like the fact that Samsung was able to put in a USB C port. Also, there's a 3.5 millimeter port as well. And I like that they didn't go with a notch like design. As you can see, the screen has curved edges with some slight bezels at the top and the bottom and I feel it's very symmetric and I, I'd rather prefer this to uh, a very big notch like that of the Pixel 3 XL. So thumbs up to Samsung for making a well-designed phone. The Samsung Galaxy A9 2018 is powered by an octa-core Snapdragon 660 processor and it has a battery capacity of 3800 mAh and I do love that the battery is big enough so it can last you a day or two. Looking at how great the AMOLED display is and you know AMOLED displays have true blacks, vibrant colors. You should be able to enjoy some good battery life as you use this device. So the Samsung Galaxy A9 is running on Android 8.0 or Rio and Samsung Experience ROM 9.0. I do love that the Experience ROM is fluid and all that but I really love that this device will be running Android 9.0 or something but let's see maybe Samsung is going to upgrade it to Android 9.0, 9.1 soon. So now let me talk about the cameras of this device. At the back, we have a 24 megapixel f1.7 wide lens. We have an 8 megapixel f2.4 ultra wide lens, and we have a 10 megapixel f2.4 telephoto lens, and finally a 5 megapixel 2.2 depth sensor lens. At the front, we have a 24 megapixel shooter, and even though it doesn't have dual cameras at the front, it does support live focus, which gives you that better blurry background when you're taking your selfies. So I do love the cameras on this device. In fact, when you see this device, the thing that hits you the most are the cameras. This device looks good from the back. It looks good at the front as well, but the cameras at the back is very gorgeous. If you're in the restaurant or if you're in town, you're in class, you're at work, and you have this phone, it's definitely going to raise eyebrows and cause people to come to you to talk to you about your device. So we did run some camera tests and I did love the cameras on this device. My favorite modes on the camera are Pro Mode, Live Focus, Scene Optimizer, Super Slow Mo and AR Emoji. Live Focus is by far one of my favorite modes on the camera app. Uh, it gives this really nice blurry background and sometimes it didn't work all that well but i think it's going to get better with time with future updates this thing is going to get better most of the time it did work for me and i was able to get great shots from my camera so with the security features i mean i like the fact that it has face id and this face id is really fast i tried it in dark situations and it really worked well the fingerprint is quite fast as well so when it comes to security i do love the face unlock and the fingerprint uh, speed on this device. Um, so guys, that's my first impressions of the Samsung Galaxy A9 2018. If you want to see a full review, let me know in the comment section down below. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. If you've not subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below so that anytime I release a new video, you're going to be updated instantly. Stay blessed.